Iowa City police are now responding to how West High School officials handled an incident just last week. School leaders say they found gun and ammunition inside the bag of a student who appeared to be suffering from emotional distress. CBS 2 News reporter Mugo Digwe joins us with their response. Mugo. Tiffany, the incident took place on school grounds on Friday afternoon, but parents weren't notified until Monday. That delay has school district officials looking into how to handle similar situations in the future. Friday's incident was all about response time, something Iowa City police say their department and West High School officials got right. Not only were our students uh, and staff at West uh, protected and in a safe spot, then they also tried to address the safety and security of the student. In this particular case, there's no information that we've received to suggest that, that there was a threat to either other students or, uh, or staff as well. Surgeon Scott Gardy says a call came in at about 2.52 p.m. and police were on scene by 3.07. He says issues like this bring up the importance of having school resource officers on school grounds. I don't know if this is a, a, a fair test case per se, but it certainly is, is an opportunity to at least re, re, uh, reinitiate some dialogue and, and bring it to the table again to discuss because the, the chief in the police department is, is in favor of school resource officers. It's a discussion Iowa City School Board officials dealt with last spring. They passed on it. School resource officers are um, individuals that have been um, utilized in some school districts across the country. There are pros and cons to, to that approach, and really that's a conversation that needs to be had with our board and across the community. Chase Ramey says the safety of students and staff is always at the forefront of any decision the district makes. As for why West High officials waited until Monday to let parents know about the incident, the situation continued to unfold into the evening and even over the weekend. And so we didn't want to piecemeal the information out. Uh, our students were safe. Our staff was safe. And also then the student that made the choice. Charges are still pending for the male student involved in that incident. Live at 5, Mugo Digwe, CBS 2 News.